Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. It's Ben again, and today we've got the Heath Ledger one third Queen Studios Joker. Now this has been on the market for some time now, over a year, but uh, finally decided to do a review on him. We're just going to get some nice close-ups and some of my thoughts uh, on this piece. He sits really well in the collection. So without any further ado, let's uh, let's check this out. We're going to go straight for the money shot here. And we're going to get that portrait in. And have a look at that head sculpt. Truly impressive. Now this is a, a sculpted hair edition. I, I did have the choice of going with the rooted hair or the sculpted. The sculpted's are a bit cheaper obviously, but um, for me a little bit easier to display. He's not in a case or anything in the collection, so with dust or anything like that, the sculpted is, is much easier to, to clean and maintain, but uh, either version here you're doing well. So if we just take a step back here, we've got him just sitting down on this steel bench uh, in that famous scene in the jail scene. So we'll start down the bottom here. We've got a, a pretty funky base here with uh, some nice wood textures, etc. Something that a lot of people don't show in their reviews is the little silver plaque here next to it, which has got the Dark Knight trilogy, which is quite nice. All in different triangle fashions. But where the statue really starts is on that nice wooden base coming up and the first thing that people see are the socks so the shoes and the socks here are really well done so I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly if this is bang on with uh, the movie I'm not sure whether all of the colors are actually uh, spot on but for me as long as it's 90% then I'm more than happy but just have a look at this uh, let's have a look at these shoes here with the laces, I'll try and get you a nice close up here. So it's a bit hard, a bit blurry, but so good. There we go, there. And mixed media piece, which means that uh, full clothing, you can see the suit pants there are done very well. They sit over the knees the, on the quads really well. We come up towards the midsection there and one of the highlights of the piece here is the hands. So I'll just try and get you a nice zoomed in pick here of the hands. So he's got blood, bruising, all, of, all along the fingers. Just hard to get a zoom in there guys. Uh, and it's so well done. Now I've rolled his sleeves up here. A lot of people will just display him with, the, with his sleeves rolled down but for me there's a nice nice bit of work in the arms that Queen Studios have done so I've decided that I want to actually highlight that and um, as I zoom up there you'll understand so the vein work etc here is done really well uh, that's what I'm talking about with the arms there it's just done really well there so it's a little bit hard to get in focus but I didn't want to hide these these things here with the actual material so I've decided to roll the sleeves up. I saw another collector do that and I haven't seen any, uh, many others do that so a lot of people have them down but for me I've just got them rolled up. They're easy to roll back down if I want. We come up towards the vest there, the tie, all nice silky material here you can see, quite fine. Uh, everyone I think is pretty happy with the clothing that they've chosen here. The, the quality seems well, it's good. The tie's nice. The vest is good with the with the button that's undone here in the center. Okay, so a lot of people comment on that when they come over and have a look, but I'm like, no, it's in the movie, it's like that, so let's try and keep it as accurate as we can with it. And then we come up to that portrait again, and as I said before a few minutes ago, it is just so well done. So good. I think the only criticism that I would have with it is 
maybe I would love a one half scale of this size because it's about uh, I think it's about 50 centimeters in height total which is which is pretty nice but comparing to a lot of other one thirds that are not seating it's not seated down it does look a little small at times but um, if you have got the bale to match with him which is my plan then this height is is ideal As we can see, the paintwork there on the on the sculpt on the uh, on the portrait, it is so good. That washed out look, and then the paint running into the hair as well. Yeah, very very happy to have this in the collection, people. Um, there are a couple that are starting to become on the market here and there. Uh, if you are a Ledger fan, obviously you know about the piece. It's bang on. This. As collectors, we're really spoilt for choices with the Joker. One, there's a couple of versions of Joker for starters. Um, and then even with just the ledger, there's um, one quarters, one third, one halves. But for me, I'm a, I'm a big collector of one thirds. Um, I think it's the best scale to collect. It sits well with some of the bust pieces that I've got. Uh, and they really do mix and match well. So that's just a really quick... Uh, review guys of the Queen Studios one third Joker. Uh, it's a it's a nine point three out of ten for me. Uh, I think it's terrific. Really nice statue uh, in the collection. A lot of people will sit there and they go, "Wow, that's really cool." I think matched up with the bust that comes later in the year. I think that'll be a real knockout duo between the two of them. Uh, I'm going to chuck him back in the collection now and then take another video of of the two. The two Jokers that we've got there, back to back, the Lee Bermeo and this Queen Studios one, and I've got the uh, the big Batfleck uh, busters also in there in that next review. But until then, guys, I uh, hope everyone out there stays safe. Please hit the like button and um, let's get a few more subscribers on board if we can. We're doing really well with the channel. It's it's uh, lots of subscribers have come along in the last couple of weeks, so I'm very grateful for everyone that hits the like button and um, throws a comment in. I'll definitely we'll get back to you all. Alright, but stay safe everyone, and I'll see you on the next review.